Hello people of the internet. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the soft sounds of Punjabi. Which are, but actually before I say that, let me just actually explain what they are. Soft sounds or how do I say it exactly? Like, over time, the sound changed. Like if you take the word kaga, right? I mean the character or ga in Shambhuki. Uh, it actually sounds like a K right which is pretty weird it doesn't make much sense but the thing is it's because it got soft over time the sound got soft G turned into a K GH turned into a K and the aspiration went to the next vowel and if there was no vowel a vowel yeah yeah it just went to the vowel because this would be uh, yeah, like that and then this is like this for a house this is house I uh, were too near each other but uh, this is house and uh, this is God right and it doesn't make any sense because this is supposed to be ja I mean not ja ga right it's supposed to make the ga noise but it doesn't because in Punjabi sounds got softer over time that's one of the reasons why it's actually different from Hindi that's why Punjabi is different from Hindi it's because the sounds got softer over time that it doesn't sound like Hindi anymore right like like in the Hindi word for house God God right this is God and this is the same in Urdu but God 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 in Urdu but God in Punjabi and God in Hindi but in Punjabi it's God and actually you might be confused because the word for car is Gaddi but uh, another word for car is straight up just car God ka kaka ha dada and same thing for this one right god the thing is it's actually like kind of like chinese They're like this i'm gonna write opinion because i can't write chinese but like this and this is different right because of the intonation right it's the same thing in punjabi it's just not written right so this one is this is for this means car this one means house i'm gonna say the bottom one then the top one god 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 hear the difference god 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 you like me saying like a, a little bit and this one's like a, a you know it's really subtle but that's just how it is and yeah so that pretty much goes for all, but like I'm gonna use Baba as an example. Baba or some keep um, Ba or Pa like that, right? I'm gonna use it some the word for bear. Ba, Baba, Ha, Lula, and then U. This means bear. Palu. You hear the P? Because it got softer, turn into a P. Palu. And this one is the me also write in palu right it has softer because if i take another word same character pampa if i take another word like um samb sasa uh dippy um baba and then in I'm uh, okay. Uh, um, scene. Uh, olive. Uh, I mean, not olive. <laughs> um, sa. Yeah, no, yeah, actually, olive. And then, um, olive. And then, uh, noon guna. And then, ba. And then, yeah, okay, my, uh, my shamaki is really bad. Just don't read this. Don't. <laughs> But <laughs> yeah, it means like some means like take care of it. Samb to samb take care of it, right? But you can hear it, it sounds like a ba and not a ba. Wait, right? It's not samp, it's samb. Cause it's so it's soft at the beginning. It's if the ba if the ba ba is or the ba is at the beginning, it's soft. If it's at the middle, it's soft. If it's at the end 
it's normal. Just how it is. Because you can't, because like, if there's room to put a vowel there, yeah, you're not gonna say tha ba, right? In Punjabi, people don't put vowels at the end. From a lot of, like, there are words, there are a lot of words, right? That, but most of the words, they don't have a vowel at the end. So, because the baba has to get softer, right? Turn into a P and then make the vowel gain the, you know, um, gain the tone. But since there's no vowel, it can't get a tone, so it just stays the same. Samba. Samba. And now I'm going to show you all of them. I'm not going to give you an example of every single one of them. I'm going to show you all of them. So you have Baba, Gaga, and Jaja. Jaja. Um, and now in Shabuki, Ba. Okay, let me actually write this in here. And I look like an idiot. Um, alright, right, this is ga or ka, because actually in Shamuki you don't just have a letter for the aspiration, you have to combine, this is G, gaf, and you have to combine though chashmi has, so it's technically ga, but it's ga in Punjabi, just, just roll with it, <laughs> and uh, this one is Ja. So ja. So ja, ka, and pa, and pa ba, ka ga, and cha ja. So these are all the soft uh, sounds in Punjabi, and you need to make sure that when you learn Punjabi, you need to watch out for these, because this is the main reason why a lot of people just kind of don't get Punjabi and get so confused even when I was first learning the writing system because um, I wanted to learn it even though I grew up in America I wanted to learn it right learn Gurmukhi and when I was learning it I would always just be confused because it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense why um, you know this is Baba but sometimes it's not and, and because like with the book I had it would write it in Latin Right? Or not Latin, but like Romanize it, right? And it would write it as B H A B H A. Baba. And I was like, Baba, isn't it supposed to be Baba? And then, like, people kept telling me, no, it's Baba. And I was a little so confused, but this is the reason. So I hope this helps you out when you're learning either Gurmukhi or Shamukhi. And actually, before I end off this video, I actually almost missed one. The other one is Dada, which is written like this. The da sounds like a da, the beginning of a word, but at the end of the word it's a da. So uh, I'm gonna roll the right in Shamuki, which is da dal, dal, and then do jashmiha. These two don't connect because this doesn't have a middle form or a you know third to last form. Like it only has two forms. It has either this. Uh, there's no middle, there's no third, and the last one looks kind of like that. So, yeah. So, duh. This is the other one I missed. Thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace and goodbye.